Okay, so a couple of months ago, I kind of started small little repairs and maintenance on my Doctor Who pinball machine. Uh, there was a bunch of burnt out light bulbs and everything like that. I went in and replaced all of the bulbs. Everything went pretty smoothly. It all worked out pretty good. Um, over Christmas, my family was up. We were having a nice little get together. And unfortunately, the left flipper uh, stopped working. Um, had no idea what to do. Um, I'm not an electrician or anything like that. But uh seemed like, unfortunately, the most likely culprit was a blow-in fuse. And just like the bulbs, the fuses are not all nice and readily available in Canadian Tire or wherever. I managed to buy a kit from a guy on eBay. He sent me all the fuses I needed. There was a couple of random discrepancies between his parts list for the Doctor Who machine and what my machine actually required. Uh, the guy was super nice um, and sent me some extra replacement fuses free of charge. Um, I will put a link to his name on eBay in the link, uh, in the description below. He's been super, super helpful in this whole process. So my machiner has 24 fuses in the back box here in the main circuit board. Uh, and unfortunately the original schematic actually only calls for 23. Uh, and a couple of the part list numbers are different than what he had. Um, but there's like five over here. There's another bank of five over here uh three and two they're kind of all over the place and there's about six or seven different sizes and styles actually um but we've got them all replaced they're all in there every fuse that's in my machine is brand new unfortunately i'm a little bit terrified to turn it on now because what if i screwed up what if i touch something could have done something wrong and it's a little terrifying and we're nerve-wracking I'm just not too sure, but we will experience this together. If anything exciting is going to happen, it might as well be on film. But I'm going to stand a little ways back. Going to turn it on here. Theoretically, if anything catastrophic is going to happen, it's going to be up here in the uh, the circuit board area there. But, um, yeah, let's find out. Here comes the power. Three, two, one. Lights, pretty lights. Ooh, launch the ball. Everything's moving, it's going through all of its stuff. But nothing, nothing goes splody. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna start a game and we're gonna see if the flippers are all working. Game start. Right flipper already worked, but let's test it anyway. Right flipper works. The biggest test is going to be, does the left flipper work? And yes, it does. Success. So yeah, it was just a, a burst fuse, but I went in. It was probably just the one that was burnt out, but I replaced all of them just to get a nice clean start. Uh, you know, some of the small repairs that I can actually manage on my own without taking it to a repair shop and spending a ton of money. So yeah, it's all up and running. Nice brand new lights, nice brand new fuses. Everything it seems to be working pretty good obviously i need to you know give it a couple of playthroughs just to make sure that there's no other issues that come up but yeah it looks like i can finally get back to playing my pinball machine that's been sitting in the garage for the better part of the last three years awesome 